Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to be talking about naming cells or naming ranges, but naming it from a selection. So if we go over to um, our little worksheet here, if you look at the formulas tab, you'll see under the define names, next to the name manager, there is an option here for create from selection. Now you know why you want to name cells or name ranges so that it's easier to reference in uh, formulas or other parts of your worksheet. So here I'm going to give you a couple different examples of how you can name from a selection. Here we have a little data range set up and if I want this cell to be named territory, this one to be named state, and this one to be named salesperson, certainly I can do them individually by clicking here and either going to the name manager or going into the name box over here and typing that in. But if I want to do it more quickly, I can select all of them, go to create from selection, and a dialog box will pop up and I'll indicate that the names will be created from the left column. I'll say OK. And now if I click in this box, notice it is named territory. This one is named state, and this one salesperson. So in a formula, instead of referencing cell H2, H3, or H4, I can use the name uh, that's assigned to those cells uh, in the name manager. If we take a look at the name manager, we'd be able to see that there is the uh, state, there's territory, and there's a salesperson name that are uh, referenced there. Uh, another example here is if I wanted to name, say, these salesmen. If I highlight that, select Create from Selection, and indicate it's the top row, and say OK, notice if I highlight this group, they are now called sales. It picked up the name from the top row. Same thing here. If I highlight that, click Create from Selection, say OK. Again, if I highlight these cells here, they're named years. The same would occur if I did this for the months column. And it looks like I had one already named that. So uh, now I'll select this and now that one's called months and again all those would appear in our name manager so there you have it how to create names from a selection i hope you liked it and i hope you'll be back thanks for stopping by if you'd like to see more please go to excel-bytes.com and feel free to subscribe to my blog happy excelling